Hello, Columbia. Welcome to the district with your host, Josh Wright. That's me. Uh, this week, I am joined by Carrie Yost mm -hmm. and Linda Patty. We're representing Citizen Jane Film, if you couldn't have told by now by all the garb. <laughs> can I take my hat off? What? You can what are you take talking your hat about? off. Yeah. It's a little warm. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be great in a week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When it's cold. Yes. <laughs> so uh, normally what we do uh, on this show, I talk about an event that's happening this weekend, but since Citizen Jane, we've got some more tickets to sell, I figured we'd get an early start on it. Citizen Jane right. is next weekend. Uh, can mm -hmm. you tell me some when the kickoff is? Our opening night film is Frame by Frame. It's Friday at Missouri Theater, October 23rd. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be an exciting film because actually with a filmmaker went to Columbia University of Missouri Journalism School. Um, it's a documentary about four Afghanistan journal journalists, photojournalists, um, who are documenting what's still going on over there after we've kind of all pulled out. Right. Uh, it's won a lot of awards uh, all over the place at other film festivals, but it'll be a Missouri premiere here, so we're excited about that. Uh, before that, if you want, if you care about feminist and film activities, we're actually hosting what we started three years ago, something called the Citizen Jane Summit here at Stevens College mm -hmm. at Senior Hall um, on Thursday. And we actually, another kind of hometown celebrity, uh, Sarah Ginsberg and another artist, uh, Elaine Sheldon, they have a podcast called She Does, where they interview creative women in the arts. And they're going to be interviewing three of our filmmakers doing a live podcast, and that'll be 5.30 on Thursday. So that's kind of a soft kickoff. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and actually, that's free. yeah, that's, that's free. free. We got a lot of free activities. Great. Yeah, and here in the studios on Friday before our opening night film, if you really want to learn about filmmaking and another free event all afternoon on Friday afternoon starting at noon, we have film panels on filmmaking, various different topics. You can see at our website at www.citizenjanefilm.org. All right, we'll link to that site. And yeah. uh, those panels, those are actually individuals who've been working on, on films mm -hmm. that you'll see Throughout. Right. It's kind of a way to get introduced to our filmmakers and their mm -hmm. films. We have different topics every year. We actually kind of ask people for topics. One panel is um, the, the people that we're hosting the She Does podcast. Every year I get asked about these people. They have a really well-known multimedia project called Hollow. This is for you guys. Yes, we're bringing them. <laughs> and so on Friday, they're going to actually talk about how they became uh, multimedia artists. So that's at noon. At 1.30, we're hosting experimental and dance film artists because that's becoming a really popular genre. And then at 3, we're hosting five feature filmmakers, kind of heavy hitters, and they're showing clips of their film and talking about kind of mentoring one another, and they're going to answer questions from the audience. It's going to be very informal, couches, kind of, you know, what we wish we'd have known, what do you want to know sort of style. That's great. Uh, yeah. And then it's movies, 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 Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you in the dance community, not only is there a panel, but we have the closing night film is a dance film. Yeah, so. yeah, it is. It's a document. I know, it's Excellent. kind of funny. There's a bit of a dance theme that was not planned. But, um, <laughs> but we but, love dance yeah, we at Citizen like Jane. We've, we have had a history. I don't know if, you, for those of you who've come, we've always started our opening night with a dance performance, mm -hmm. modern dance. We've had live dance performances. Um, so our closing night, we'll, we'll have some more modern dance. But the documentary, Maiko, Dancing Child, it feels, honestly, it's a documentary, but it feels like a narrative film. It's cool. so well mm -hmm. filmed, the cinematography and the style, but also the, the tension of the film. It's about a prima ballerina in Norway. Um, she's from Japan and she gets like the job, you know, she is the lead ballerina and she just got her name all over, you know, the nice book. She's the lead ballerina and then she finds out she's pregnant. And it's oh. like, what will she do? And literally there's somebody waiting right. in the wings for her job. She wants to keep her job and have this baby. And it's kind of, it almost feels like Black Swan in its own way, the mm -hmm. psychological, tension both but it's also mm -hmm. within I mean she's not naive sure. about what her career is like um, so it's just a fascinating film That's, that sounds very interesting uh, for those folks you've kind of described it but I want to give you a chance to maybe say something about Citizen Jane in a nutshell for anybody who might be watching that doesn't know exactly what the the thought behind doing Citizen Jane Film Festival is it is different in many ways than other film festivals so well, they're all made by women. That's right. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Either co-directed or directed by a woman. And that's rare. Um, what yeah. you see in the mainstream theater, the last study was 1.9% are made by women. So, 1. yeah, 9. we're getting lower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so right. those statistics are depressing. But um, 
What I would like to get out there is I think a lot of questions we get is, uh, can I go see the film if I'm a man? What is the answer, Linda? <laughs> the answer is yes, we love men. Yeah, That's we do. Citizen Jane. Uh, as a personal thing, I've actually volunteered before for oh, Citizen cool. Jane. I remember. So um, it's, it is very accepting. Even though there's women on it, plastered everywhere. It's, it's, everybody <laughs> needs to, if, yeah. you know, I don't want to... I don't want to say anything but nice, nice things about Citizen Jane. I've had a blast volunteering, and I'm really happy that the district is involved this year yes, in sponsoring. Um, it, movies have always been shown throughout downtown, so where mm -hmm. are those some of those venues that people can the, see? Uh, you know, at? opening night the film is at Missouri Theater Friday mm -hmm. night, and then they're at the Blue Note. Right. And we're really happy about that, the venue site. Thank you very much, the Blue Note. And yeah. then they're also yes. at Stevens College. We have Mecklenburg Theater, and next to Mecklenburg is Warehouse Theater. It's like a little black box mm -hmm. theater. And then also Charters, which is next to our box office, which right. is at 1405 East Broadway. So it's all within walking distance in the lovely district. Yep. Yes. So you can get out and bebop around. Um, and going back to the men thing, that I think what we'd love to get out if you've never been to Citizen Jane before, it's very accessible, but also the films are designed to be enjoyed by everyone. And I think what oh, a lot absolutely. of female filmmakers yeah. want you to know is they didn't make these films just for women. Right. So you know we have a lot of films, they're all genres. There's right. drama, fiction, documentary. I mean, we have a documentary about Russell Brand. I wouldn't call him a feminist, really, but <laughs> I think he's an interesting guy. But right. there's, you know, all these different topics. So I think that's the number one thing that we have a hard message to get out is women make films about all topics. And oh, they'd like absolutely. people to know that. We also have a, a family, family fun shorts for all the family. Mm -hmm. It's up till 12 or 12 and over, I think. Is what Seven and over. Seven and over. That. Yep. Okay. It's 10 a.m. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And even younger, it's about the attention span of your child, really. Right. <laughs> so if, you're, if your child will sit still longer than mine, you can maybe even bring them younger. <laughs> but yeah. And, and you said that's uh, at 10? 10 a.m. on Saturday. Cool. Yeah, we have a series of shorts programs. We have seven shorts programs. So that's like a bunch of short films wrapped together in about an hour and a half. And those are really popular. They tend mm -hmm. to sell out, actually. So if you like those, yeah. those are my favorite because I can't get them anywhere else. So that's what I like to go to. Um, so those have been really popular. And, and of course we can't hit every single movie, but there's a booklet that comes out every year that yes. you can find a lot of information about. That'll, that'll be uh, located all the It hits venues. the streets tomorrow. It hits tomorrow. It's tomorrow. But if Cut you can't wait, go to Probably w today. W yes. <laughs> yes. <I'll> yes. <laughs> today, actually. That's right. This yeah. is live. It's right. hitting today. Now. Yes. You might have already seen it. Yeah. <laughs> so, but th those booklets are full of information about the mm -hmm. films, about the times you can watch them. Uh, where's the box office located? It's here in this building upstairs, 1405 East Broadway. You can also um, buy your tickets online right now and print them at home. We highly recommend that because mm -hmm. then you can just go right ahead and use them there. Sure. So, um, but again, that's www.citizenjanefilm.org. Our box office is at 1405 East Broadway. So if you know Columbia and you're just walking up Broadway, just walk right over college. There's a little bridge. It's very lovely this time of year. Um, mm -hmm. So that's one thing, I know yeah. some people, if they've never been to Stevens College campus, this really doesn't take a very long time. And no. we've, tried, we've designed the festival to be accessible and to be relaxing. We right. want this to be a very relaxing experience for people to have time to go to one festival, see your friends, go to another film, you know, enjoy it that way. Sure, mm -hmm. all right. And, and we kind of just jumped right into it, which I, I'm always happy about doing, but uh, go ahead and introduce yourself as what you do for the festival, both of you. Uh, we'll start with Carrie. Sure. I program movies mostly. Then I do a lot of odds and ends as the festival mm -hmm. nears, but I watch a lot of movies throughout the year with a team of people, and mm -hmm. then we decide what those movies will be. All right. And right now I'm the interim director of the festival as of a couple weeks ago. And before that I was on the programming team. I was a volunteer coordinator. And when I moved here from New York, one of the things that made me feel really good about being in Columbia, Missouri was that the Citizen Jane Film Festival was here. Oh. It's true. It's, it's a true. fantastic film festival. How many years has Citizen Jane been around? This is year eight. Year eight. That's a that's a huge mm -hmm. accomplishment. Yeah. Eight years for our lives. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it is a, it's a okay. <laughs> <laughs> you do a great job. Don't I really, I really do. Sure. I really do like the festival. <laughs> and uh, uh, is there any uh, any other information you'd like people that uh, are maybe on the fence about? I don't know if I want to go to this, or I haven't bought a ticket before. Uh, anything you want to get out there and say to anybody about that? 
Well, just um, one thing I will say as a programmer is we program films of all tastes. Like, they're not exactly all my personal tastes. Otherwise, we'd be watching weird art movies all weekend. <laughs> um, you know, for instance, it's October. We have a few <laughs> horror films right. that have been very popular at uh, horror film festivals. We have international films. We have a film mm -hmm. that was um, filmed in St. Louis that uh, was filmed by an African-American filmmaker that's from St. Louis. It actually, mm -hmm. it was shot right before Ferguson, but it's very, very, almost a, it sort of preempts what happened. Um, so wow. there's just such a wild, diverse choice of films, and I think that's actually what a lot of filmmakers and some critics have said that they liked about our festival. So I feel like, you know, maybe not every film is for you, but I would open up that program and, and see what your it. personal mm -hmm. tastes are. Exactly. There's documentaries. There's a documentary, Emba Means Sing, um, that's been really popular already, African Children's Choir. It's about a choir from Uganda, Africa, that travels all over the world, but they were just here in Columbia in February, so quite a few churches have been working with this choir. So it's got a lot of community connections. Um, there's a film called The Midnight Swim, and it's kind of a thriller, a psychological thriller about three sisters and their mother drowned in this lake, and it's like, did she drown or was the lake kind of haunted? After I programmed <laughs> this film, Literally, the filmmaker contacted me and she's like, do you know where we shot that movie? I said, no, but I've been trying to figure that out. I thought, mm -hmm. you know, somewhere near L.A., all these actresses are from L.A. They shot it at Lake Okaboji in Iowa, which is where our theater, our theater at Steve Stevens College, every summer they have a lake summer theater that all of our students go and live there. And it's just, there's right. so many funny connections That's amazing, to yeah. so many yeah. films that, um, that I think make everything special. So when we program films, there's so many films to choose from, honestly too many great films to make, right. I can make two weeks of a festival, and we really think of every film, like how would this fit with our community? That's fantastic. There's a, a it's, I kind of got an early glimpse of the lineup, so I'm really excited for right. a lot of films in there. And, and you're, that's no lie, you really can find something for everybody in that. So um, I really appreciate you guys coming and being on the show, uh, and this is next weekend. Do you want to say specific dates? Yes. <laughs> 20, October 22nd to the 25th. 22nd is the summit, and opening night is the 23rd. Mm -hmm. And there is also, speaking of the horror films, there's a late night, the first late yes. night Citizen Jane film at 10.30, which is The Invitation. Yeah. So we, we extend our invitation to The Invitation. Yes. If you go, it will tell us that you like late night films, and we will do right. more of them. Cool. So. Very Figure cool. it out. We also have an epic dance party every Saturday night. This year it's at the Blue Note. We haven't had videology in this town for a long time. So mm -hmm. those of you who like to dance to music there videos, always come a fun on out time. to the Blue Note. Saturday night, $5 to shake your booty. There you go. <laughs> I'll, I will do my best to be there. We want to see that. Ideology. We want to see that booty on the dance floor. Right. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Thanks again right. so Thank much. You. We have a full calendar of events for the rest of the week. And uh, also a special note, we have Art Rageous Weekends happening this weekend. So uh, be sure to see Art on the, on the Move. You get a good art crawl this week. So we will see you out there, folks. Mm -hmm.